Okay. <laughs> we've been pretty busy out here, and I haven't recorded everything we've been doing. So this video will just get everybody caught up on a few new things that we haven't showed you yet. The big news is we finally have our roof fixed. It feels really good not to have those big blue tarps on our home anymore. Those cute bunnies from the intro, they've grown up and are no longer living with their moms. Wendy really likes two of them, so we're probably going to be keeping them. This little white one is called Marshmallow. It's okay. And there's a little black one called Hershey. Hershey. It's okay. It's okay. Hello, Hershey. How are you doing? You're trying to eat your cage. You've got plenty of food. Why do you want to eat your cage? The rest of our grow out rabbits were keeping out in the yard, separated by sex in our two rabbit tractors. This budded Oscar, Frank, and Dijon are three little meat goats. Wendy wouldn't let me film any of that. We just don't want to show anything that's too painful or distressing to our goats. It went quickly and they were right back to their old playful selves pretty much right away. Hopping 
Well, the three little meat munchkins are uh, just happy and playful after we did the dehorning. They're just budding. They're just budding. Ginger's a little more rambunctious than blue. Didn't film it, but it's too traumatic to film. But I don't the, like doing it. But the disbudding didn't go too badly. No. Gets a little easier with a little more practice, like like anything else. These guys are super wiggly. Their hair will grow back. Yep. So they're not gonna look like this for forever. Indigo is just such a mama, isn't she? Such a good mommy. It just took them a few days to really figure out how to nurse themselves. Here close to sunset blue does look a little more blue. Yep. A little overcast day under the right lighting. Hello, Sienna. Sienna. So hurting. So we just butted Sienna, and as you can see, her forehead's all back to normal. I mounted some cameras here in the goat stalls and over by our rabbits so Wendy can check up on her goats whether she's at home or not just using her phone. Those things actually have a microphone and a speaker so she can talk to her goats too. Wendy has been using that phone to check up on our goats every single night before bed. I built four new compost bins, two here right by the chicken coop, and two out front with the others. These compost bins are conveniently located for mucking out the chicken coop and the chicken run, but it will be a little bit of a longer walk to the garden with the finished compost. I opted to put the doors here and on the other edge, rather than side by side, like my other compost bins. I don't expect that I'll need to build any more anytime soon, but if I do, having the doors like this will let me build more compost bins going that direction in the future if I need to. The other two 
compost bins that I just built are right here on the end. They've all been built using repurposed scrap cedar boards and I've deliberately let them be very rustic looking. As you can see, I've wasted no time putting them to good use. We've been trying to breed a funny looking chicken for a while. Well, mission accomplished. I moved our 15 chickens from the quail hutch chick brooder up front out here to our mini cooper. It's getting a little warm. This next weekend is supposed to be well over 100. Although there is shade over there, there's more shade here with all the trees. Plus, they'll have more room in here. And I'm able to give them more food and water at the same time. I was getting a little tired of having to go out and check their food twice a day just to make sure they hadn't eaten it all. It's okay. Relax. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I did just get a new chainsaw. It's definitely heavier than that other one that I had. It's still electric, but it's cordless. So it'll be a lot safer and easier to use down here without long extension cords getting tangled up on things. It's the same brand as my leaf blower. And because it came with a battery, I now have three three batteries that I can fully charge and use one right after the other, either for the leaf blower or for the chainsaw. Want to see how it works? I've been making progress down here in the ravine. Here's a before. And here's the after. Well, maybe we should call it later rather than after because I still have a lot to do out here. I've been salvaging as much of this debris as I can for chipping and shredding into bark mulch or chopping up into firewood.
some of the larger pieces I reposition where they make sense just to be future nurse logs I'll let them decompose in place chicken. It kind of stands out, but uh, yep, that's him. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's him or her. Okay, you see where he went? Oh, it looks like he's on the very far end, I think. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. Oh, mission accomplished. Thank you. I think you should call him Elvis. Elvis? <laughs> Elvis might be a good name if it's a boy. I'm not sure how to tell at this age, though. It's probably a girl. Probably a girl? Well, we want girls anyway, so. You call her Elvira. No, I don't like Elvira. <laughs> no. No. Even if that funny looking chicken is a girl, we'll probably still call it Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>